is the coronavirus biphasic, meaning does it have multiple stages? And if it does, does that mean that the people who have air quote recovered are still sick and will get sick again or get sick worse? I don't know. I don't want to speculate too much, but we have this story from Fox News. Coronavirus infects women in Japan for the second time, a first in the country. This would mean that quarantine is broken beyond repair. 14 day incubation might not make sense. Perhaps the reason we saw 27 day incubation in some people was because it is multiphasic, which would be really, really scary. But I don't know what else to say. Until we get more data and until we know exactly what this means, this could be a fluke. But Fox News also had a guest on. And earlier today, we were we had the TV running. This guy, it says Pennsylvania family returns home after going through coronavirus quarantine. He's on Fox News via satellite, it appears via satellite. And then he begins coughing. And then he coughs again. And then he has to drink some water. And they bring up the fact that he was cleared from quarantine. He says, don't worry, I'm fine. I was tested. It was negative. Cough, cough, cough. I'll play the video for you in a second. The point is, is it possible that the reason he's coughing now is because he was cleared, but it's multiphasic? I don't know. Basically, uh, for those that aren't familiar, I'm not super familiar either, but the general idea is that some diseases have phases like phase one, you'll get a respiratory sickness. It'll go away. You'll look like you're fine. And then a week later, you're sick again. Let's read the story from Fox News to see exactly what's going on, what they're saying. And I got some more. There's, there's a lot of updates to go through, but there's some more bad news. There's a shortage of some medicines. We have too much of our medicine being produced in China, and now we are facing supply line shortages. This could get serious. Fox News reports, a woman in Japan tested positive for the coronavirus for the second time on Wednesday as the country grips with 190 cases separate from the Diamond Princess cruise ship outbreak, according to multiple reports. The tour bus guide in her 40s first tested positive in late January and was released from the hospital after recovering. She was readmitted after having a sore throat and chest pains, according to the local government. It is the, it is, it's a first known case of a second positive test in Japan, which prompted Health Minister Katsunobu Kato to inform Japan's central government of the need to review previous patients lists and monitor the condition of those previously discharged, according to Reuters. And that's because there is now a fear there could be multiple phases of this virus. Quote, once you have the infection, it could remain dormant and with minimal symptoms, and then you can get an exacerbation if it finds its way into the lungs, said Philip Tierno Jr., professor of microbiology and pathology at NYU School of Medicine, according to the news organization. The virus can reportedly spread without symptoms showing up, which forces officials to play catch up and makes it far more difficult to manage. Health officials analyze the implications of a patient testing positive after having an initial recovery. Second positive tests have been reported in China. Quote, I'm not certain that this is not biphasic like anthrax, Tierno Jr. said in regards to the disease being able to go away before reappearing. With the 2020 Summer Olympic Games scheduled in July, Tokyo has urged large gatherings of people to be stopped or limited over the next two weeks to contain the virus, according to Reuters. The Olympics should be postponed if this continues. There are many people who don't understand how easy it is to spread this infection from one person to another. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe announced on Thursday the government would close all schools for a month to help contain the virus. Another death was also reported in northern, northern Hokkaido, which brings the total killed by the virus in Japan to eight. Four have died from the cruise ship, which, is, uh, which has roughly 704 cases. Now, I want to talk to you about the potential for multiphasic virus. Listen, if they're claiming 25,000 people have recovered, but it turns out they actually haven't recovered, this could mean the mortality rate would go up. And if there is a second phase of the virus and it's more severe or as severe or whatever, then the, then the chances of severe illness could be greater. I'm going to play for you this clip from Fox because it's kind of going viral now on Twitter. I tweeted about it. A bunch of people started digging it up. Just listen to, to what we have here. Let me make sure the audio is playing properly and then just listen. Hopefully doctors and scientists will get a better, hmm. better handle on, on the whole situation. Fortunately, from what I understand, you know, <clears throat> it is contagious, but the death rate is, is pretty low. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I understand the fear. Yeah. yeah, well, we can see you still have a cough. What do the doctors say about your own condition moving forward as we wrap this up? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me get some of that. <laughs> 
they said, um, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I got tested twice, uh, negative both times. Uh, the cough, probably just uh, nerves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> being on TV. Fair enough. Okay, first of all, this dude just shared a bottle of water with, with uh, a girl that is presumably his daughter. To me, I was like, what are you doing, dude? Even if it's not coronavirus and you got a cold, what are you doing coughing and then taking your, your, your daughter's water? Now, whatever you got, she's got, even if it's not coronavirus. Here's the other thing, though. It may not be biphasic or multiphasic. It may just be that the tests do not work properly or we just don't know enough yet to properly screen this. But I'll tell you what, man. It is not confidence building when you have a guy who was brought into quarantine, they clear him, and now he's coughing when there is a, an epidemic or pandemic of a respiratory illness. Come on, man. Occam's razor. What's the simple solution? The dude didn't catch a cold after leaving quarantine, did he? Maybe he just has a cough. I don't know. I cough sometimes too. You'll notice in these videos, there'll be little cuts periodically. It's usually because I cough, and that's kind of normal. But that cough to me was... Like, he's sick, man. Check this out from ProPublica. Key misstep, missteps at the CDC have set back its ability to detect the potential spread of coronavirus. The CDC designed a flawed test for COVID-19, then took weeks to figure out a fix so state and local labs could use it. New York still doesn't trust the test's accuracy. And this is from today. Or I'm sorry, I believe it's, yes, from today. So here, here's the thing. Is it possible this guy was stopped, detained, given this bat, this funky test, and they were wrong, and he does have it, and now he's going on TV and sharing drinks with his daughter? Man, I've, see, I've seen movies that start like this. The guy's on TV saying, I'm, I'm totally fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it's okay. It must be nerves. Dude, that's how zombie movies start. Not that I think this is a zombie movie, or it's going to get that bad, but I do think it's probable that a dude might be sick, and it could be this. Maybe the dude was tested. And it was negative, but it's dormant because it has multiple phases. That is where things get really scary. Regardless of what is truly going to happen, though, we have a serious, well, look, we got, we got a potential risk of supply chain disruption and medicines being disrupted because we, we, we have too much sent to China. From ABC News, the FDA has reported, this is from this, this morning, FDA reports first drug shortage due to novel coronavirus outbreak. The FDA said the issue continues to be an, uh, an evolving and very dramatic one. They report the U.S. FDA announced it's been alerted to the first manufacturing shortage of an unnamed drug due to a viral coronavirus outbreak that began in China and has now reached American soil. The FDA, uh, uh, FDA commissioner, Stephen Hahn, said the agency has been closely monitoring the medical product supply chain with the expectation that the outbreak of the novel coronavirus would likely have an impact. Quote, a manufacturer has alerted, has alerted us to a shortage of a human drug that was recently added to the drug shortages list, Han said in a statement Thursday night. The manufacturer just notified us that this shortage is related to a site affected by coronavirus. The shortage is due to an issue with manufacturing of an active pharmaceutical ingredient used in the drug. It is important to note that there are other alternatives that can be used by patients, he added. We are working with the manufacturer as well as other manufacturers to mitigate the shortage. We will do everything possible to mitigate the shortage. Han said the issue continues to be an evolving and very dynamic one. Did I say dramatic earlier? Dynamic. The newly identified virus, known officially as COVID-19, emerged in the Chinese city of Wuhan, and we all know that. At least 2,804 people have died from the confirmed cases of the virus, all but 57 in China, according to the latest data from the World Health Organization. South Korea has the second highest national total of coronavirus cases behind China. Out of more than 81,000 people tested in the country, 2,337 had tested positive for COVID-19 as of Friday afternoon, up 51, 571 from the same time the previous day. More than 30,000 others were awaiting test results, according to South Korea's Center for Disease Control and Prevention. It is hard to say at this point when the outbreak will reach its peak here. The center's vice director, Kwan Jun Wook, said at a press briefing Friday, a majority of the cases in South Korea have been linked to a secretive religious sect in the city of Daegu. More confirmed cases are expected this weekend among members of the Shincheonji Church of Jesus. So far in the U.S., 60 people have been diagnosed with the disease. The majority of the cases are Americans who were on board the Diamond Princess cruise ship that was placed under quarantine in Japanese waters. 
as hundreds of passengers became infected with the new coronavirus. The newest case is being investigated by the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention as possibly the first instance of community spread on American soil. The patient is a resident of California's Solano County, had no known exposure to the virus through travel or close contact with a, with a known infected individual. According to the California Department of Public Health, the individual was transferred to UC Davis Medical Center in Sacramento on Wednesday, the hospital confirmed. Now, this is the first known COVID case with unknown origins, which says to me, it is very likely it's already pervasive. So I, I we'll, we'll, we'll go through the standard updates. We've got in New York, 700 people at being asked to voluntary, voluntarily quarantine themselves. One person is being monitored. There was something I heard about potentially 83 potential cases. There's something I heard about potentially 83 cases on Long Island, people being monitored. And now we're hearing about some people being monitored in Massachusetts, 8,400 people being monitored in California. And now we have that video of the guy going on TV saying, everything's okay. I tested negative twice. Cough, cough, cough. That is not confidence building to say the least. But we can wrap up on a final note about panic. You know what? I wasn't planning on doing it. Well, let me, let me tell you the story and then I'll do, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something I, haven't, I don't normally do. The spread of the coronavirus couldn't come at a worse time for Corona beer. People are panicking so much they're, they're actually not going to buy Corona beer because the name is the same as the virus. Come on, man. Are people really that dumb? Um, you know what? I was going to do a shout out for the food supply thing that I've been doing. I'm not going to do it on this video. I'm just not going to do it. Let's just talk about uh, uh, the Corona beer and panic. Do not panic. Please do not panic. But seriously, do go. I, I, I'm going to do it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to shout out the company because, look, we've got to do this. All right. This is preparewithtim.com. I, I am reticent to do these shout outs for stuff like this because the last thing I'm going to do is be a doomsayer or anything like that. But we've got a shortage of antibiotics, man. We've got uh, this, this company has a 100 times normal, normal demand right now. They're announcing on their website. That's what they're saying. Potentially a six to eight week delay. I do not think the world is going to end. I do not think, I think we're going to get over this, but we're seeing major market hits. We're seeing, you know, antibiotics and supply chain disruption. I, I went out and bought supplies. I bought some emergency food. I bought some water. We got, we got ready. We got some rice and beans, not necessarily because of coronavirus, but it is a good, it's it, hey, better late than never. This is a website called preparewithtim.com. And they've got emergency food supplies. You can check it out. It does support my channel, full disclosure. And it is also true that whenever I do videos about coronavirus, YouTube completely demonetizes them. So this is a, a one way to, you know, kind of keep the bills, keep, get, get the bills paid. And also, the, I mean this with utmost sincerity. The only reason I'm shouting them out is because I really do think it's important to do this. I have done a dozen of these videos, and this is only the fourth time I've ever given them a shout out. But I also think it's important to point out as we get into the panic section where people won't buy beer, this is news, okay? What's news is that this company is experiencing massive demand from people who are rushing out to buy this stuff. So again, with the utmost sincerity, you don't have to buy this stuff if you don't want to. I just think it's a good idea. And I think it's particularly newsworthy that this company is experiencing massive demand for this stuff because it seems like the virus is going to grow out of control. Now, the only reason I decided, fine, you know what, we'll do the shout out is because people are panicking and you cannot panic. You can't do this. You want to chill. I tell people, buy some rice and beans, worst case scenario, taco night. But look at this story. They say Corona beer isn't making any changes to its advertising, despite the name's unfortunate similarity to the deadly coronavirus. Constellation Brands, which brews several variations of the popular lager, said in a statement that its customers understand there is no link between the virus and our businesses. <laughs> they did a poll and found like 36, 38 percent of people wouldn't buy Corona. You know what, man? I don't drink beer but I really think they deserve my business because people are stupid, man. Corona beer is not bad. Sales of Corona remain very strong, and we appreciate the continued support from our fans. Constellation brand spokesperson Stephanie McGon told CNN Business, our advertising with Corona is consistent with the campaign we have been running for the last 30 years and is based off strong consumer sentiment. They say the spread of the coronavirus couldn't come at a worse time. They're spending $40 million to launch its new Corona branded hard seltzer. Part of the promotion includes a sponsored tweet that has sparked criticism for the use of the phrase coming ashore soon. Oh, no. Check this out. What is this? Two surveys released this week show that the coronavirus, the Corona's brand is suffering from negative buzz. 5W Public Relations said that 38 percent of Americans wouldn't buy Corona under any circumstances because of the outbreak. Another 14 percent said they wouldn't order a Corona in public. The survey encompasses polling from 737 beer drinkers in the U.S. I recently went out to eat. 
We purposefully, well, my friends purposely ordered, purposefully ordered Corona because it was funny. Dude, don't blame the name of the beer on the virus. Just call it COVID-19 or C-19 or whatever. I got to tell you what, though. Uh, the reason I'm shouting out that, that company again is because people are losing it. That's the real concern. In my opinion, I think the only thing to fear is fear itself. The panic from these people who won't drink a beer because it has a brand name similar to another name. You know why they call it a coronavirus? It's because it's got like a, a crown, like a ring of little things around it. I don't know a lot about it. I'm not a microbiologist or a virologist. Leave me alone. But it's something like that. It looks like it's got a little crown around it. Corona means crown. <laughs> Leave the beer company alone. I don't even drink beer. I don't drink beer. And I feel like they deserve my, they deserve my business because people are, are losing their minds. Online searches for Corona beer virus spiked in February, but have since declined. Constellation brand stock dropped 8% on Thursday, although the entire stock market has fallen sharply as fear grows about the spread of coronavirus. The number of cases have climbed to 83,577 83, globally Friday. Nearly 3,000 people have died from the virus. This is not going to be Spanish flu. It's not going to, to at least I don't think so. But I'll, I'll wrap it up by going back to the beginning of this story. First, just buy beer, dude. Calm down. Get some supplies, though. I, I really do mean this. I wouldn't say it if I didn't really, didn't really believe in it. But if this does turn out to be biphasic, meaning phase one, respiratory illness, phase two, more severe illness, this is going to get really scary, man. And so please take these things seriously. Let me tell you one last story. I was reading, this could be apocryphal or urban legend, but I was reading a story a while ago, or someone was telling me about it, where there was a security guard at a bank. And he was standing up by the tellers, armed, when a couple guys came in with ski masks and rifles, and they walked right up to the cop, disarmed him, and threw him to the ground. Later on, people asked that guard, why didn't you try and stop them? And he said, I couldn't believe it was really happening. I don't know if that story is true or not, but even if it's not, it's a story of optimism bias. The assumption that things can never go wrong, that not, it's not going to happen to me, not me, I'll be fine, nothing ever happens to me. Or an unthinkability bias, like, oh, that'll never happen, that's absurd, until it does, and then you're going to be, you know, fighting over the last can of beans with Agnes in a Walmart parking lot. Don't be that person left fighting over, I mean, I'll tell you what, too, there's going to be a lot of people fighting over the last can of Corona beer. As much as they, they don't want to buy it right now, when supplies run dry in, an, in, in the event of some kind of catastrophe, don't be that person begging, banging on doors. What are you going to do? You're not going to have any supplies, man. I'm not saying to build a bunker. I'm just saying, dude, take these things seriously. If it turns out this is biphasic, and we don't know yet, and I think it's a stretch to even say it might be. We don't know. We just have that one story. You're going to really wish you went out. Now, Trump's trying to keep things, you know, calm down. I can respect him for it to a certain degree, but I do think he should have a little bit more alarm, but not too much. It's tough because we've already seen stores in Italy, stores in Australia get stripped of supplies. It hasn't really happened around me yet. Maybe it's happened by you, but we've gone to the store. Everything's fine for the most part. This is here, New York, Massachusetts, California. It's probably already in these places. We don't know for sure, but I'll tell you what, man, wherever you might be, especially if you're on the East Coast, you're going to hear about this. People are going to run to those stores and they're going to buy literally everything. And what's left for you? Corona beer, which nobody wanted to buy. But hey, Corona's not bad. I'll leave it there. Stick around. Next segment's coming up at 4 p.m. YouTube.com slash Timcast. It's a different channel, my main channel, and I will see you all then.